So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about one of the top college in Karnataka that is NIT Suratkal. So we are going to discuss about all the facets of this college. Now those students who are targeting engineering college particularly in the state of Karnataka should definitely watch this video because this video is going to be very informative. Again a small request, if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it and also press the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates from us. Let's start this video. Now before starting this video, let me just tell you what are the things that we are going to cover in the next 10 minutes. We'll discuss briefly about the NIT Suratkal first, then we'll discuss about the courses which NIT Suratkal offers. Then we'll discuss about the eligibility of Indian and NRI students. We'll also discuss about the reservation policy for the Indian and NRI students in this particularly college. We'll also discuss about the entrance exam, that what are the major entrance exam that you need to qualify to get into this college and if so, what is the required cutoff? What is the application process? We are also going to cover in this video. Is there any scholarship opportunities or not? We'll also discuss that part two. And still, if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section below. So in short, a complete package. There will be no doubts about this college, right? If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. Let's start the video now. Let's start with the about of NIT Suratkal. So NIT Suratkal was established in the year 1960. It is a public institute recognized by UGC and the courses which it offers are AICTE approved as all the NITs offers three level of courses. The first one is UG, which is called undergraduation courses. The second one is called PG, which is post graduation courses. And the third one is doctoral, which is doctoral programs, right? PhDs. So the popular courses are UG, PG and PhD here again. And you can visit the site, which is www.nitk.ac.in for more video, more updates about this college, right? And again, the campus is spread over 100 acres in a hilly area. So this is one of the great thing. If you're targeting this college, you will really enjoy for the next four years, two years or in the PhD. The entrance exam being accepted here, G and GATE and the mode of application is offline. But these days, this is turned into online because of the situation. So this is just a brief about NIT Suratkal. Let's move on and discuss about the courses which NIT offers. So NIT Suratkal offers basically three courses, as I just told, bachelor's, post graduation and uh, this PhD programs, right? We'll discuss about the specialization in here. If I talk particularly about the BTEC, the four major specializations are civil engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. If I talk about BARC, this is a general BARC they offer. If I talk about MTech, there are four specializations again, computer science and engineering, then structural engineering, then material science and technology, and finally machine design. So these are the four domains in which you can measure your MTech. If I particularly talk about MSc, then the three measures are physics, chemistry, and mathematics. If I talk about MCA, then they offer general MCA. If I talk about MBA, then yes, they do offer MBA program. Even all, almost all the NITs offers NDA, MBA program. MBA in the field of HR, marketing, finance, you need to visit the site for more updates about this part. All right. If I talk about the PhD, then in the PhD, the three major courses, I mean, the three major domains in which you can measure your PhD are chemical science and engineering, mechanical engineering and civil engineering, sorry, chemical engineering. So these are the three domains in which you can measure your PhD. So just a brief about the courses which NIT Suratkal offers. Let's discuss about the eligibility criteria now. So eligibility criteria is one of the basic criteria that clears a difference between are you in the college or are you not in the college, right? So I'm just talking about the general eligibility criteria for the Indian and NRI students. It clearly says that if you're targeting bachelor's program, then you should be passing your class 12 with at least 60% marks with average of 60% marks in physics, chemistry and mathematics. This is for the NRIs as well, right? What it says, let me just read it out for you. It says that the candidates must have passed the higher secondary examination, which is 10 plus 2 pattern or equivalent from outside India only and secured 60% in each mathematics, physics and chemistry as three of the four subjects of study and the part three. All right. So this is just the basic eligibility criteria. Now let's discuss about the course wise eligibility criteria. All right. Then this will give you a clear picture. All right, so let's discuss about the eligibility criteria course wise and also the fee structure. If I talk about the BTEC, you should be passing a class 12th and valid, you should be having valid G main score, right? The fees is 1.3 lakh for the first year. If I talk about MCA, you should have at least graduation with 60% marks. 
and the fees is 1 lakh rupees first year. This is for the first year. You need to multiply with the respective numbers of years that in the courses that you are targeting for. Like suppose if you are targeting BTEC, the fees is 1.53 lakh per year. So you just need to multiply times 4, right? So 1.3 times 4 will give you that will be somewhere around 1.5 times 4 with 6 and 1.2, somewhere around 6 to 6.5 lakhs in total. But again, if you just compare the fees for other NITs, this fees is high to be frank because in almost NITs, the fees for the BTEC is somewhere around 2 to 3 lakhs. This is 6 lakhs. That depends upon many factors, right? That depends upon demographics. That depends upon other aspects as well. So they club all these factors and then they put the general fee structure in front of you. Okay. Let's discuss about the MTech. For the MTech year, the eligibility criteria is graduation and valid gate score. The fees is rupees 1 lakh rupees for the first year. MBA, you should be having graduation, passing CAT exam and the fees is 1.3 lakh rupees for the first year. If I talk about MSc, this is again, you should be passing graduation and there is a written exam being conducted by this college. So you need to pass both these exams and the fees is 45,355 rupees for the first year. For the foreign students, you need to convert this amount into dollars so that you will have a clear picture. All right. This is in currency, Indian currency, rupee. If I talk about PhD, this is post-graduation and then there is written aptitude test that you need to qualify post that you are called for GD and PI that is group discussion and personal interview. The fees is 69,505 rupees for the first year. You need to multiply to the respective numbers of years in which you are staying in the college in PhD. All right. Let's move on. Now, before I move on, let me just announce a very important part here, which is for the NRI students. So for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebook that is related to DASANCIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI ebooks and that will really help the NRI students to check their preparation and how they can prepare well, right? To hit the D-Day. <laughs> now this is for the NRI students. Let's move on. Let's discuss about the reservation of students. Now I'll discuss about the reservation of students in two categories. The first one is foreign and the second one is Indian. If I discuss about the foreign students, this comprises of NRIs, PIOs and CIWGC and the DESA category, right? DESA is an act that is direct admission student in the foreign countries, right? They handle all these activities. So it clearly says that in NITs, there are 233 seats reserved for NRIs and CWGC candidates out of which 156 seats are reserved for NRI under NRI quota and 77 is reserved for CIWGC under CIWGC quota. These all activities are being handled by DESA. Again, there is one very basic eligibility criteria that you cannot, you know, take off this thing. It says that for students must be foreign, national, person of Indian origin, studying in any country, only student born or after October 1, 1994 are eligible. So this is the filter that they are putting. At this point of time, it says that your date of birth should be after 1st October 1994. Then only you are eligible for, not particularly this college, even for all the NITs. So you need to take this part as a major part here. Let's move on. Let's discuss about this student's reservation. Now we are talking about Indian students. So we are talking about Indian students as this is a government institute and it follows common rules and regulations, right? It says that uh, for the ST students, there are a total of 7.5% seats. The total seats reserved for SC. 15% of the total seats reserved for the SC in the respective courses, right? And 27% seats reserved for the OBC candidates. 10% seats reserved for the EWS category. So this sums up to 59.50%. So this is the total number of reserved seats for these categories. This also implies that 31.5% is reserved for the general category students. Let's move on. Let's discuss about the major entrance exam that you need to clear to get into this college. So for the BTEC and BRC, you need, you need to have valid G main score or G advanced score. We'll discuss about the cutoff in the coming slides. Don't worry. If you talk about MTech, you should be having valid gate score, written test and then interview. So this is a process. You need to go through the process. The first process is that they will put a filter on entrance exam. Once you clear the entrance exam, with the respective cutoff that is set by this college, you will be called for GD and PI. Now that is another filter in which there will be group discussion, there will be personal interview and post that once you qualify all the process, you will be given provisional admission. When you submit all the documentation, you will be finally, I mean, taking admission in that college and passing out from that college. Let's discuss about MS by research. So if we talk about MS by research, you should have valid gate score and written test and to pass on through the same process as just the MTech guys do. 
uh, written test and interview. If you talk about MPhil and PhD, you need to have GATE, UGC NET, CSI, R NET or ICAR or ICMR score. And again, you need to pass on through the process, which is a written test, personal interview. In some cases, you need to present your research work of the masters that you have been through. All right. Let's discuss about the required cutoff. So if I discuss about the required cutoff, the cutoff is, you know, this being declining these days. This is because of the opening of new IITs. Let's have a start here. It says that in the year 2018, if you just see in here, it says that civil engineering and mechanical engineering, as you can see the two lines here, right here in front of you. For the year 2018, this is 7178, which is 7178, is the cutoff or declining. In short, this is the cutoff. This is the rank of the student that has been called in the year 2018 that increased up to 8918 in the year 2019. This is for the mechanical engineering. Okay. And in the year 2020, this is 9668. So they are actually increasing their calling ratios of the students, right? This similar fashion falling in the civil engineering and other categories as well. As I just told, this is all because of openings of new IITs. Students are targeting new IITs first. And because of that, the seats are being vacant. And that's why they are calling more number of students, right? Now, at this point of time, I'm asking you guys, what do you think about the cutoff this year? You can write in the comment section below. That will be fun. All right, so now let's discuss about the NIT Suratkal cutoff for the BTEC in general category students. As you can see from the data, which is the stats 9131 opening rank for the round one and 13,407 for the round six. See the number, see the numbers. This keeps increasing, right? This keeps increasing till the time when the seats are, you know, being fulfilled, being filled by the respective categories of students. So this is a good thing for you. But again, these are the College of National Repute. The cutoffs are really high. So you need to take that part also into account. Let's move on. Let's discuss about the application process. So for the application process, this is very simple like other colleges do. Like you just need to visit the uh, site of this college, as I just told in the starting. And then you just click on the respective course, click on the respective course, read the eligibility criteria. I mean, gather all the uh, documentations that you have, upload it, finally sign it and upload and then pay through that debit card or through online payment, whichever gateway you use. Post that you will be uh, called for the shortlisting. Um, after after shortlisting, you'll be called for the counseling process. That depends on course to course. Either you're applying in BTEC or masters or in post graduation. So this is a similar fashion like all the colleges do. Not a big deal. Let's move on. Let's discuss about the scholarship part. Now, scholarship part is very important here. Scholarship as the college is in tie up with various organizations. Uh, the college is in tie up with uh, Commonwealth Scholarship UK. They basically these organizations offer scholarship and fellowship to the students. Like Pradeep Ganappa Scholarship Fresh and Renewal 2019 and 20, Merit Kamin Scholarship Fresh and Renewal 2019, Autumn Foundation. There are many other scholarship options that you have in the hair, right? Now, again, there is one more option which is NSP, that's called National Scholarship Portal. If you are in if you are an Indian student or if you are even a foreign student, you need to check for the eligibility in that case. Visit the site NSP and you can apply for the scholarship. That is a national scholarship portal that covers almost all the colleges of India. And from there on, you will be also eligible for, uh, you know, availing scholarship. So this is just a brief about this NIT Suratkal. I hope you enjoyed. Still, you have any any doubts, any comments? You just ask in the comment section below. Any doubts, like any query, like uh, what is the required cutoff or what is the fees? I just covered this thing. If anything that is left off in this video, you can ask in the comment section below. We will be more than happy to revert back or get back to you. And again, subscribe our YouTube channel, Test Prep Cards, so that we won't miss any videos or updates from us. Stay tuned. Thank you.